Thank you. In case you don't already know, you will be absolutely delighted when you learn what my function is this evening. And I'm as proud as I can be of what I've been asked, or indeed allowed, to do. It will be my happy privilege and honor to present an actor, and what an actor, who is a peer among his peers, because you see, he is truly a peer. And of course, I refer to Laurence Olivier, because that's how. Uh, because you see, that's how he prefers I refer to him when he appears. Those of us who have had the joy of knowing him since he first came to Hollywood, warmly and fondly, yet respectfully, of course, call him Larry. No man has graced his profession better than Larry Olivier has graced ours. He represents the ultimate in acting. He is the actor's most admired actor. His extraordinary talents have embraced an astonishing variety of roles, from Shakespearean to modern day men. It's a remarkable achievement unmatched in range or stature. He has won 11 nominations, think of that, plus a special Oscar for his Henry V, and an Oscar as Best Actor for Hamlet. And tonight, he receives a tribute from the Academy and the entire industry for all his work. Among those who have previously received this particular honor have been Greta Garbo, Mary Pickford, Fred Astaire, Charlie Chaplin, Walt Disney, and a name modesty forbids that I should otherwise like to proudly mention. <laughs> Oh dear friends, am I supposed to speak after that? Carry, my dear old friend, for many years, from the earliest years of either of us working in this country. Thank you for that beautiful citation and the trouble you have taken to make it and for all the warm generosities in it. Mr. President, and governors of the Academy, committee members, fellows, my very noble and approved good masters, my colleagues, my friends, my fellow students. In the great wealth, the great firmament of your nation's generosities, this particular choice may perhaps be found by future generations as a trifle eccentric, but the mere fact of it, the prodigal, pure human kindness of it, must be seen as a beautiful star in that firmament, which shines upon me at this moment dazzling me a little, but filling me with warmth and the extraordinary elation, the euphoria 
that happens to so many of us as the first breath of the majestic glow of a new tomorrow. From the top of this moment, in the solace, in the kindly emotion that is charging my soul and my heart at this moment, I thank you for this great gift which lends me such a very splendid part in this, your glorious occasion. Thank you.